What's going on guys, Thunder Guys Nation, and today we're back with another tutorial. So I know I haven't done a video in a while, I've just been partnered with a MCP server house company. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm able to, so you guys, so you guys are able to have a, an MCPE server to play with your friends and everything. So I'm just going to bring a tutorial on how to use it. So you go to the app store, type PU2, it's this app right here. And then you just um, go there, download it, open it. So once you've opened it, so once you've opened it, sorry about that in the background. Um, once you open it, you'll just see this um, thing, the MCP hosting, login, register, tutorial. Click register if you already have an, don't have an account. Type your email, type your nickname. See that, and I'm gonna type the password in, but I'm gonna pause the recording. I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've typed your passwords in to or your credentials into the user slots of your email, your username, your passwords, click apply. Registration looks successful. Please sign in. And now I've got to talk to so the developer on why it's crashing. We just go to PU2. Open the app again, and then just uh, once you're there, you've successfully logged into the server. And now you will see this screen. You can go to console, create server, delete server, um, delete remote file, transfer files to my device, transfer files to my server, and help. Help, it will just bring up this, transfer files to the local source, blah, blah, blah. You can pause the video and watch that. But if you've already installed the app and you need some help, just click on that if you don't understand the video. But now once you've learned how to log in, I'm going to teach you how to create your server. Okay, so once you've logged in, you'll see uh, three boxes up at the top of the screen. Console, create server, delete server. Click create server. And this could take up to five minutes. I have no idea what that means. But mine's pretty fast because I have a pretty fast device. I believe that's so. So once you've created a server, you can hit delete server, which will you'll see. Are you sure you want to delete your server? Yes. And this process request could take up to five minutes, which it could. But in this case, it takes a couple seconds for me. Once you've created a server, you'll go into there. Okay. And you go to console. You'll see your your IP game.mcpe1.com, and you'll see your port, which is 19648. Now you guys will not be able to join the server because I'll have it whitelisted, and only the admins will be able to join it. This IP is everyone saying you can get it changed. Just give us an email or whatever Skype us or whatever. You can get that port changed to whatever you want. Now I will switch to my other device and show you inside the server on how the works. So I'll be right back on my other device. Okay, so I just forgot one last thing um, before you're supposed to do that during the server. Click start server. And this process could take up to five minutes. But no wonder it wasn't showing up on my other device. So now it should say starting. Now I'll switch over to my other device where I'll be recording me joining this. All right, so once you're on your MCPE server, or MCP app, I mean, sorry if the audio is kind of crap, I am on a different device. So once you're here, you go to add server, you type your port in, which everyone's port's going to be different no matter what. So for instance, my port's 19648. So once you type that in, you go to IP, you type in your game dot mcpe one dot com. Once you've done that, you name the server name, whatever you want. For instance, I'm just gonna do lol like I usually do. Add server. And it should be usually right on the top or whatever you have your name be. And it'll be the not Minecraft, it's a plot world or whatever. It's that first let it build terrain. That was pretty fast to build terrain. So once you see I'm in the server, I will go to my other device 
and type say hi. As you can see on the top corner it will say the server will say hi. Now I can make it do OP your username, for instance mine's Hankman123. Send saying recon opt Hankman123, you are now OP. So once you do that you can do slash um slash game mode space one or instance I might crash or not. Slash game and this one's kinda buggy glitchy right now come on slash game mode space one or whoops slash game mode space one and I'll say set own game mode to creative open your inventory it's gonna have all your inventory stuff like you would expect including pistons redstone and all that cool stuff in the new version of MCPE which I have no idea why this isn't working but anyways that's how you create a server and join it. So I'll switch back to my other device. Alright, so now that you've known how to join your server and create it, so now you can hit stop, do whatever you want, and it will um, say on your other device or whoever's joined there, and server close, whatever. Go back, and that's how you register, create server. And join it. Next, I will be showing you how to transfer plugins, etc., or implement. I think you can put your own world in there, I'm not sure yet. But you'll be able to add plugins. I'll teach you how, you how to do that and all that stuff in just a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you guys how to add plugins to your servers. For instance, if you want to add like um, Hunger Games or whatever, and I'll be making tutorials later on my, I'll be, I make plugins and stuff, so I'll do tutorials on that later. For now, I'm just going to teach you guys how to do add plugins. So you click, you see a remote file, you go to click the little file thing, it'll pull you to your downloads folder. And for instance, the only one I have right now as a plugin, yep. Is F Chess, which is or er, yeah, which is another plugin that I've been working on for quite some time. So you just click that, you click select, and now you see where it says remote file. You click the same exact file. You scroll down until you find plugins. Click it. Click select. Now transfer files to my server. Click that. Wait a couple seconds or minutes, however long it depends on it takes. Once you've done that, make sure you stopped your server. So now you click the folder again. You scroll down. Well, I'm going to scroll down and show you guys that my plugin is right there. F chest. So now you guys know how to do that. And you can transfer files to your device. So say if you want to edit like, um, for instance, um, Tom Commander. Just click Tom Commander config.yml. Select. Click the file to where you want it to be saved to. For instance, I think it's just going to download to your downloads folder and you click transfer file to my device. And then just wait for that to do that. Once it's done that, then it will come up as. Um, it will come up somewhere in your downloads folder. I have no idea where it is right now. That, and then you can delete remote files. So delete your file that you don't want. So for instance, if I delete that, it'll delete the file. And instance, you need help. Tutorial, you can just click select your language, Belgian or English. And then now you can just click delete server 
or console console go back to the console start start your server it'll be started and then just go to your mcpe and start the server but anyways guys i'll see you guys next time this is thunder guys nation here and i'll see you guys next time peace